What up guys, it's your boy Fly Eno Gaming here and I'm back again with another episode of the Pete No of the Shock Tar Donetsk crew mode. I keep thinking it's PSG. I don't know why. But still it's Shock Tar Donetsk. Now, right here on the table, we are currently in first place, but Zenit is one point behind us. We got CSK in Moscow, four points behind us, the locomotive and Dynamo Moscow. They are, this is a tight race. Very, very tight. Now, our next couple games, we have Locomotive, Zenit. I don't know who this team is. Yeah, I don't know who this team is, but I'm guessing they're by mid table. Then we got Zenit and Locomotive again. If you lose against Zenit or Locomotive and Zenit passes us, this could be a very interesting race for the title. These games right here are very important. I want to win the title. This is because this is a very important season. I don't want to get fired. That's that's number one. I don't want to make the same mistake as the at the Stab Rene career mode. So I need to win. But for this game against Locomotive, what we're going to do is that I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out Marlos. I'm putting Wellington them. This is basically I'm going with our first team. This is gonna be our first team, no question. Kovalenko, yeah, this is our first team, guys. Right here, the three Brazilians as our attacking mids. We got the man, the myth, the legend. We well, know the future legend, Angel Carrera. We got Kovalenko, the young man from Ukraine, and El Carrera. Then we got our back four, which is not the best back four, but it's the, it's the best I got right now. This is our formation for this locomotive game. Very important game. Like I said, I need to win this. I want to win this. The January transfer window is coming up soon. Because we don't have many games left. We just have these three games this month. Two games next month. We have a very long break. I don't know why this break is so long. We have like a two month break. I don't know why. We have like a two month break. I, I really do not know why. But. We have a long break. The January transfer window is coming up. We need to win this. So I'm going to meet you guys in this game against Locomotive. I'll see you guys in a second. We are in Moscow. It's snowing. I don't know why, but I love playing in the snow. I don't know why. But every time I play in Russia, it always seems to be snowing. Oh! Oh, we missed. We missed. It's the start of the second half. Nothing happened in the first half that I can really speak of. It was pretty... Well, we had some shots, but nothing made you speak of. But, overall, I thought we did decent in the first half. They did get some shots. Most because of my horrible defending skills. We got it. Cross it. Yeah, and I wasn't getting that. But yeah, like I said, my horrible defending skills really could have cost me. So. There's a couple minutes left in the game. There's still one. I mean, it's still tied. Nil, nil. Two minutes of extra time left. It looks like we're not going to win this game. As long as you don't see, I'll be happy. Ooh, locomotive almost had it. Yeah, but like I said, as long as I don't concede, I'm 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 happy. I don't like losing. I'm a very com competitive person, especially in real life. Wait, hold up. Ah, nope. Never mind. Yeah, we didn't win this, but we didn't lose. That's the best part. We didn't lose. It's basically going to be the same exact lineup, except I'm putting Marlos in for Wellington them in the next match. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you guys in the Zenit game. So um I'll see you guys there. We are at home against Zenit. This is a big match. First place versus second place. Whoever wins this move will be in first place. If Zenit wins, we will be two points behind them in first place. We win, we get a four point lead. As you see right here, we have zero losses. I want to keep the zero losses. I hate losing, as you guys know. I need to win this. Plus, it gets us started. Zenit, I gotta say, I do love, I love our kits and, and their kit. The black, the black and orange go right, go right together. But the blue, amazing. Oh my God. How did I not score? I hit the post. Please, no. Hit the post. Marlos. Tyson. Let's go. Carrera. Let's go. One nothing. I believe that's Carrera's ninth goal, I believe. I think ninth goal. I don't know. It might be his ninth. Maybe. His, yeah, I think ninth goal. But we scored one nothing. Shot card. Let's look at a replay of this. I just took a long shot juke that I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get all the way through. Carrera slid, put it in the back of the net. As a true striker does. One nothing shock dark. Carrera. That's two. Who scored that? Tyson, that's two. Carrera with the assist. Let's take a look at this again. Really, to be honest, I didn't think I didn't think he was actually gonna get to it. I thought he was gonna go past, or the keeper was gonna catch it. It just so happens Tyson got his foot onto it. It just so happens he got his foot onto it. That's two nothing shock there. Come on, Tyson. Come on, Tyson. Bernard. Oh. Yeah. It's almost halftime. And she, it is halftime. We're up 2 nothing. I'm as shocked as you are. Okay, I was not expecting that she get be up to nothing before at the halftime. I would maybe one nothing, but because we've had seven shots, five on target, we've had less, we've had less possession. Like I said, I'm as shocked as you are. Okay, I was expecting this to be at least zero zero or one nothing on for either team because Zenit is really. About the same quality as we are. I believe their defense is actually better than ours. But their attacking players are not as good. Or their midfield isn't as good. But I do know that like, they have Javi Garcia. So. Zenny is still a quality team either way. I'm not going to underestimate them. That's how that's I lose. Wow, come on, get the ball. Bernard. Oh, yeah, a great run. Just couldn't put it in the back of the net. You know, I wasn't getting through into the box anyway. It just, I put too much power into it. And I probably wasn't going to score that either since I'm always hitting the post. Bernard. Tyson. Bernard. Bernard. Shoot it. Oh. Come on. Ooh. 
Zenny, Zenny had a great chance. How do you put it that far off, off the off the net though? You like, you right you right in front of the net. Like how do you put it that far off? This has been a great performance by me. I was not I would really I wasn't expecting to win two nothing. I usually don't do that well against big big teams like Zenit. Like Zenit is definitely the best team in in the league, no question. In terms of uh, quality of squad. It is over two nothing. We won this game. We're gonna take a look at the table. Carrera got the eight rating, nine shots, six on target. We had less we had less of the ball overall. Zenit, they should be ashamed. But still, we won. That's all that matters. We got the win. We are still in first place. We're gonna take a look at the rest of the table. So I'll miss you guys in a second. Okay. We are still in first place. That's all that matters. Zenit is four points behind us. Well, Zenit and CSKA Moscow is four points behind us. Then you got FC. I'm gonna try this. FC Krasnodar. 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 I think that's how I say it. They are in fifth with 27 points. Then you got Dynamo Moscow. They're really, I would say between fourth and seventh. It's a really tight race. It's really tight because from fourth you got FC Krasnodar, fifth Dan Dinamo Moscow with 26 points, one point behind Krasnodar, two points behind them you got Ruben Kazan in sixth, Lokomotiv Moscow in seventh. Yeah, that's a really tight race. Spartak Moscow is is having a disappointing season. They're all the way down to 11. They have been a very disappointing season. But yeah, we're still in first place. Top goal scorer, yeah, Carrera, he had his ninth goal. I wasn't too sure about it, but he has his ninth goal. Really, our next game is right here. I'm not going to play that one. Well, I'm not going to show you guys that on camera. So, I'm going to do it um after, so... As soon as I finish it, I'll show you guys, you know, if you want or not, so. Okay, so that game that we, that I didn't show you guys, we drew 1-1. One, one. That was mostly my fault, because I did rotate most of the roster. It was a heavily rotated roster. I mean, really heavily, because we do have a game against Zenit next. And I, and I wanted to get my first, my whole entire first team in this game. So, we drew 1-1. One, one. Bernard, he did get injured. He's out for two months. Sadly, could we could use that pace. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. We could use that pace. Sadly, we didn't win. So, and we lost one of our key players. But looking back at the table again, let's look at the table again. Zenit, I'm guessing they lost. Be yeah, they they must have lost. They are now in third place with CSKA Moscow in second, Dinamo Moscow in fourth, Kranz, Krasnodar in fifth, then Lokomotiv and Ruben Gazan. Really, I say between sixth place. Now, it, it really got tight between sixth place. No, yeah, sixth place. And I say up to at least third. It's, it's, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle from, from then from 6th to 3rd. That, that's, that's really tight in terms of points. But, yeah, all that matters is that we, we got the win against Zenit. I would love to get a win against a locomotive. We didn't, but we're still in first place. Next video, we, you, are, you, you guys already know who I'm playing. I show you guys the screen, the calendar a lot. We have Zenit. And locomotive, it's just you know, I'm playing Zenit away, locomotive at home. We just swapped basically. It's, it's basically th this episode swapped, okay. And then we got the January transfer window. I need money, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask the board for some money. Hopefully, they give me something, but you never know. 
Because we do have a long break. I don't know why, but maybe it's, it's, it's the way the Russian League is set up because after this game is locomotive. We have the 7th of December all the way in, until the 20, 26th, basically, of February. I don't know why it's such a long break. It's like a two-month break. I don't know why. Maybe maybe it maybe maybe it has something to do with the cold weather in Russia, the winter. I'm guessing their their, their winter is around there. But it really, if, if their winter around there, that's the same as us in the U.S. Like our winter, and I'm I'm on the East Coast, so it's cold as hell. It's cold as fuck in December, December through like February, through February. It's cold as fuck. So if it's like that in Russia, leave leave that in the comments below. Cause I, I've always wondered about that. When is Russia winter months? Is it the same as the U.S.? Like December through like December through about late February, early March. It's about the, is it the same as U.S.? I I've always wondered. So like, so leave that down in the comments. If if anybody from Russia or knows a lot about Russia, put down in the comments below. But yeah, we got the win against Zenit, which is really what matters. This has been a pretty good episode. Follow me on Twitter. I don't use Facebook as much, but I have it on there. Um, it's, it's down in the comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm playing gaming, and I'm out. I'll see you guys next time.